is Friday, September 29th. It is just now noon, and I am driving into Bar Harbor. We ran out of food, so I had to make another trip to the supermarket. So, just a second, I'll turn the camera around, and we'll have a look at Bar Harbor today. Before I do that, though, I will say that uh, on the way over here, I passed a number of... Uh, trail and carriage road access points the most most recently the eagle lake carriage road access and there are the better part of a hundred cars there the parking lot was completely full and probably 70 to 80 more cars parked along the road so there are still a lot of people here visiting acadia national park so I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll look at Bar Harbor as we come in. So here we are just passing the stoplight as we drive into Bar Harbor. It doesn't look super crowded here. I imagine there will be a lot of people in town today having lunch. It's, um, you know, a reasonably comfortable day for the end of September. Truck says it's 61 degrees right now. We have high overcast. Uh, had that yesterday too. And yesterday we also had uh, smoke blowing in from uh, fires in Quebec. I don't know if we have that today. I haven't smelled it. So anyway, we're coming into Bar Harbor. Just a large group of people. I don't know... Uh, how many cruise ships there are here today. Normally, uh, in September, there are anywhere from one to three cruise ships uh, every day. And uh, so the number of people off of cruise ships on MDI can vary from about 100 if one of the small cruise ships is uh, the only one that's in up to about 7,000 if a couple of big ones are in and when there are three in one of them is usually one of the small 100 to 200 passenger ships there are quite a few people on the street here as we approach Main Street where we'll turn we'll go down do my usual uh, turn onto uh, the town dock have a look there I believe we will see the schooner Margaret Todd uh, there because although it was over in Southwest Harbor for Tropical Storm Lee's visit to us, uh, it left the day after the storm and I'm pretty sure it came back here to go back to taking tourists out for two hour sails around Frenchman Bay. You can see there are quite a few people walking around and uh, lots of traffic. It is, of course, noon, so that is lunchtime. And if I can ever make my turn here, which looks like it's going to be a while, um, we'll see what it looks like a little further down. And now there's a hoop pulled in and blocked my view lots of people quite a few of them look like potential cruise ship passengers and you can see lots of people walking around here sitting alongside the street so it's pretty busy here in downtown Bar Harbor at noon on Friday September 29 somebody who can't be bothered to go to a crosswalk The only thing we have to do is keep an eye out when we come to crosswalks for people that are heading across. They do have the right of way, but that doesn't mean they should just step out in front of a moving vehicle, which they do sometimes. But quite a few people here. I'm guessing there is at least one cruise ship in. Eh, maybe not one of the huge ones, so it's a little hard to say what there is going on but it's fairly busy uh, when I moved here in the late 90s 
The number of people that would be in Bar Harbor at this time of year was, you know, pretty small. Uh, much smaller than it is now. We have uh, substantial numbers of people here now, and the season is definitely longer. It extends uh, well into October, and there are still tourists here in November. Although by November, a lot of the local businesses here in Bar Harbor have shut down for the winter. Almost everything here on Main Street closes for the winter. Now there are a couple businesses, one restaurant, I think a coffee shop, and of course Sherman's Books stay open all year, but most of the rest of these shut down. But everything is wide open today. As we head down, and in a second we'll be down to the town dock and have a look at what's going on. It's pretty crowded here today. And I don't see a cruise ship out there. Uh, they do, however, often anchor on the other side of Bar Island and you can't see them from downtown. And the reason they do that, I think, is just so that you can't see them to cut down on their impact on the town. In just a second, we'll have a look at the uh, pier. Yes, the Margaret Todd four-masted schooner is here, and it looks like they're loading passengers right now to take a load out for a sail around Frenchman Bay. And there's a large catamaran out there. Looks like a power cat. It looks like a whale watcher coming in right now. And uh, a couple of other schooners out there. I see three. I don't know what schooners they are. I think they're visiting. They're anchored out there. And the town dock, as usual, is pretty parked up. Town dock uh, is often parked up in the summer uh, because it is one of the few places in town with no time limit. And you can park here all day if you want. And, uh, and that's useful if you want to go out on a whale watcher cruise or, or anything like that, which can take, you know, three, four hours. This is where you would park. But, as you can see, it's pretty full. And this truck here is a buy truck for lobsters. They buy lobsters from lobstermen. That's something we're seeing more and more these days. Instead of the traditional lobster pounds where the lobstermen sell their lobsters and buy bait and fuel, we're seeing more of these buy trucks that come in and buy lobsters direct and then truck them someplace. <laughs> okay, I haven't seen a single open parking spot down here. So it's pretty, pretty busy today. And not too many people up there in Agamont Park. I don't really see anybody on the grass. Well, there are a few. So that's downtown Bar Harbor on the 29th of September. 2023. And I'm going to go here, turn left, and go back up Main Street and see what it's like. Now, that may have been Hill Advised. There's a FedEx truck that's just stopped there while they're making a delivery. And it's going to be very difficult to get around them because of oncoming traffic. I think the FedEx guy is dashing back out to his truck right now. So, pretty busy down here in downtown Bar Harbor at lunchtime on Friday at the end of September. There is a tour bus. When we see tour buses in town here, it tends to mean that there are... Uh, cruise ships 
in uh, to offload passengers and fill the tour buses up. So quite a few people walking around and this is Cotton Street where I'm going to turn and head down to the supermarket. These people going across, yes they are. And uh, lots of them. It's like takeout pizza day. Go. And this is going to be a little crazy because we've got a truck here. It's just going to make it very difficult for me to get through there. I'm going to have to wait until these cars come through from the other side. They're backed up because somebody was parking and blocking the road. And hopefully I can get through. See, these are not the widest streets. And we've got a delivery truck down here. Uh, it really makes it narrow and difficult to get through. I have to go through very slowly. And pretty busy here, even on Cottage. I did see one parking spot on the other side, but I'm sure one of these people going the other way will probably take it. As we head. over toward the supermarket where I will do my grocery shopping. Okay, that's Bar Harbor today, the 29th of September, 2023. It's still high season here in terms of how many people are in town today. So, if you're coming to Bar Harbor, over the next month, the number of people in town should start to drop off. But also when that happens, a lot of the businesses will also start to close. And we'll get by sometime uh, around the 1st of November, we should be down to the winter business uh, community, which is much, much smaller than summer, when the vast majority of the restaurants and everything will be closed for the year. Okay, so I'm going to end the video. Hope you enjoyed having a quick look at Bar Harbor today, the 29th of September, 2023.